it going on my tacticians and welcome back to another Monday matches of the tacticians variety Okay sure I'm running out of memes to say at the beginning of these videos but in any case let's get this started uh, with me forgetting how to do grammar and getting tongue twisted as we start off this battle between me and Alolan Scum Oh my goodness tacticians You kids are getting better and better and better as time goes by, or him he's just getting worse and worse as time goes by. I think it's one of those two. In any case, I'm going to start off with Rosemary and my Zapdos here. Although it's not a Zap, really a Zapdos. It's kind of, it's not really my Zapdos. And a little scum going to be starting off with his Yoshiro, his Groudon, and Humble's Intimidate. I like the name there, Humble. So Yoshiro, I don't know what that means, but you know what? We're not going to be considering that. He's going to be switching out his Groudon for his Yelvelo, and I think he's, he goes in for an attack here. His Intimidating Mighty and I Yelvelo is now on the field. I go with the Nat days, as you can all tell. It's not really Zapdos, it's Sophia, my Zorak. Things are not looking good here right off the bat. I go for the Giga Drain. I was trying to take down the Groudon before it could, you know, start to steamroll me. Incinerate comes out from the Mighty Yenna. Gonna take Rosemary and... Sophia down a little bit, gonna try and destroy any berries they have and remove the illusion of Sophia on the field. So this is not good. I did not want to lose Sophia and she's choice specs, she's locked into night days, not gonna be effective at all. Yavetal comes out now, goes for the protect here, and I send in charge of one as after the swap in. Rosemary goes for the sludge bomb going into Yavetal, not able to do anything there. Snarl now comes out, gonna connect onto both my Pokemon, weakening their attack power already. This is a special attacking Mighty and I, you know, caught me completely off guard here. Now, as for Yavetal, goes for the Oblivion Wing. We all know what happens. Grass combination, not gonna work here for my, for the grass Pokemon. And Rosemary, not able to do anything there. And that's gonna be the end of Rosemary. Rest in peace, my, rest in peace, my Roserade. Snarl comes out again from Humble. And it's going to weaken Charge of One even further, so he's not going to be doing anything, but he doesn't rely on his special attacks. He uses physical attacks and goes for the String Shot here. So, not a, all in all, not a good turn for me, but at the bare, very least, bare minimum, the bare necessities, I've at least slowed my opponent down enough for Sophia to come back into the field. So now I go for the Flamethrower here, Choice Specs Flamethrower into the Mighty Yenna. I'm predicting the KO here. Yes, I do get the KO, and I predicted that he would not go for an attack here, at least not something on me. And he goes to the Tailwind setup as well. So that's, or not, goes, not as well, but goes to the Tailwind setup. And I go for another String Shot, trying to slow him down as much as I can. I really don't have anything to work with at the moment. All I've got is Sophia back on the field and Charger 1, and he's slow as molasses. Now, speaking of Yoshirio again, is back on the field. Yavel now swaps out, goes into Poipole. So Poipole is now once more onto the field. Precipice Blade comes out. Charger 1 avoids the Precipice Blade of all things. And Zapdos is going to, you know, take that. Or not take that. Sophia is going to be the one to take that. Man, I'm even fooled by my own Pokemon delusion. Sophia goes down to the Precipice Blades. String Shot now comes back out from Charger 1. He's once again going for these String Shots, trying to slow my opponent down. I gotta do what I can to slow my opponent down. It's all I have left in this battle. Now out comes Zapdos for reals. So the real Zapdos is now on the field. Now I swap out Charger 1 because I think I can make use of Charger 1 layer or Charger 1 later on. And I send in Leia going for an attack here. I go for my Magnetic Flux this turn, hoping I can, you know, increase my defenses as much as possible. Unfortunately, Alolan Scum goes for the Z Snatch here. I did not predict Z Snatch onto the Poi Pole. Now, I go for the Magnetic Flux. I'm faster, so I'm able to get it off first, but he snatches the Magnetic Flux and it does absolutely nothing. Instead, all I do is give the, the ground on the sword stance. His plan was to go for a Z snatch onto the onto the sword stance. Get the sword stance off for his physical attacking Poi Pole. And as for me, well, he stole my magnetic flux before he could do that. So I go for protect here onto Lair. 
trying to increase my defenses as best as I can. Poison Jab comes out on to, from, or from the Poipo. Gonna be dealing some massive damage to my Zapdos. Gonna get the Poison off as well. Magnetic Flux is back in play now. I get the Magnetic Flux off. Now Leia has increased defenses as well as the Eevee-like defenses. Now I'm going to be losing some health here to the poison, but the berry is going to be, you know, kicking me back up into a, into positive range like the citrus berry. Tailwind is gone, so I'm thinking, okay, I'm able to move faster now, I hope. And we get the Mega Latios on the field. Shiny Latios, everyone. Very shiny, very green. So Vintage Draco is now on the field. Boy Pole goes for that snatch again. He's trying, he's... Predicting yet another magnetic flux, I think. But Ice Beam comes out, gonna take Zapdos down. Not able to survive that attack. That is the end of my Zapdos. I am running out of options here as I go for the charge beam onto the Poipo. Gonna be trying to increase my special attack as much as possible. Critical hit, really not sure if that mattered there, but anything counts, anything helps, I suppose. Charger 1 back on the field. This is what the combo was meant to do. Increase my defenses, then increase my attacking power with the combination of Charger 1 and Leia's Charge B. Meanwhile, Draco's gonna go for the Calm Mind, gonna set up those defenses and attacking power. Poipole gonna go for the Poison Jab here, gonna connect onto Leia, not gonna do any damage at all, but Charge Beam comes out once again, gonna be dealing some massive damage thanks to the Charger 1 boost and the Charge Beam boost, and String Dot comes out once again. Wrapping up my opponent really good right there. But that's the end of that turn. Not much else to say about that. I go for another protect here. I'm going for the protect, trying to keep Leia up as much as possible. Side shot comes out from Vintage Drago. Gonna connect onto Charger 1. He's gonna take that like a boss. And Poison Jab comes out. He predicted. The double protect, or he's got, he predicts the protect. I go for the spark here, trying to take down the poipole at the very least, and I do manage to take it out, but not able to do anything to my or ugh, not able to do anything to vintage Draco. I am getting tongue twisted here. I'm still recovering from from my little flu thing as Yoshirio the Groudon comes back onto the field. Precipice Space comes out, Leia avoids the attack, but at long last it connects onto Charger 1 who managed to avoid Precipice Blade so many times in the past. Now Psyshot comes out, gonna connect onto Leia, I'm still got my strong defenses so it doesn't deal a massive amount but a lot of damage regardless. Signal Beam comes out, I'm trying to do what I can. But without Charger 1 to boost the power, I don't have anything against him. Amy is now on the field. I'm trying to think of something here. And Alolan Scum withdraws his Mega Latios. Going to send in Alolan Scum himself with the Flower Gift comes out. And oh my goodness, whatever dance or whatever dances I had that I could do were not enough. As Precipice Blade comes out, Leia connect it connects onto Leia. She goes down, neither able to resist it. And that's gonna be a heal pulse that doesn't do anything. I was trying to keep Leia up. She was my last hope as the Lowland Scum goes for a helping hand into Yoshirio the Groudon. Goes for the primal punch. Amy's can't outspeed. Not able to survive that. That's the end of the battle. That's the end of it. GG to Alolan Scum. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Alolan Scum, you're so strong. Getting better than MP. He's really trying that hard that time. But, regardless, we got one more battle. This time against Daniel Freyar. This is a new person. I think he's new. But in any case, let's get this party started between me and Daniel. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't know what to expect from this battle. I did not know what to expect from this battle, so I send in a moon theme team. This is a moon theme team that I like to run on Acadia, and we got shinies all around! Shiny Gengar and shiny Skarmory. Oh my goodness, somebody, somebody get that Skarmory examined. I think it's rusting. His metal is rusting. I don't know. I get the Intimidate off thanks to a Lu or lose Intimidate. Gonna deal nice damage against that Skarmory, and for the Gengar, gonna go for the Mega here. And, I think I predicted an attack here. I think I predicted 
an attack. Yep, I go for the Sucker Punch here to tear and take out the Gengar. Not able to take out the Gengar. Focus Blast comes out from Gengar. Gonna connect onto Laurentia. But you know what? She's got the Safety Sash. So she's quite happy taking that. As for Alu, she's gonna go for the Fire Fang into the, into the Skarmory. Gonna hope for the Burn or the Flinch. One of the two. Not able to connect onto either, but I learned that my opponent has a rock camera and I lose some health to my life orb. I get the flinch though, so that really helps me out. And the fire is gonna withdraw his Gengar. Not really gonna be nice for me. Really mess me up. Yelvetal now comes out onto the field again. Another Yelvetal. Man, I'm just not having any luck with Yelvetal today. I went with a sucker punch again. Not able to connect with that. Fire Fang comes out. Gonna connect onto the Skarmory once more. I'm hoping for the flinch or the burn, one of the two, and I lose a lot more health. Not able to do that. Aerial Ace comes out, connects onto Laurentia, and that is definitely going to be the end of my Dusk, or not my Dusk, my Midnight Lycanroc. I'm getting them all mixed up. Now out comes you, so you is on the field. Okay, now Yavetal was going to go for the U-turn. I was not predicting a U-turn on to, from Yelvetto. I was predicting like an Oblivion Wing or something like that. But in any case, Yelvetto goes back to the goes back to my opponent and now he's gonna send out the Milotic. So the Milotic is now onto the field. Crunch comes out from Malu, gonna connect down to the Skarmory. I'm trying to get rid of the get rid of this bird. I thought maybe Crunch would be enough to take it out with stab, but not enough. Spikes now come out from the Skarmory and it is still on the field, tacticians. It is still on the field. Faint attack comes out from Skarmory. I doubled down, wanted to make sure it would go down. Rocky Helmet deals so much damage to my team, and it barely did any damage by itself. Oh my goodness, the Skarmory really brought my team down so much. Now, out comes Superior. So a Superior is now on the field. Shiny Superior. Double Snake Shiny. Oh my goodness. Leet Seed comes out from the Superior, so I'm like, okay, 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 I get it. You're gonna try and absorb as much damage as you can. But I'm gonna go for my Poison Fang, so I got all the Fang moves on this, but Mighty Anna, Alu gets a nice critical hit and gets a Poison off as well. Badly poisoned, so that Leech Seed is not gonna do anything. As an Ice Beam comes out, gonna connect onto, I think, Alu. Or I think he connects it onto you. I think he connects it onto you. So I was panicking here thinking, oh no, don't hurt you with the Sub-Zero Slammer! But then I remember this is Umbreon we're talking about. It's very tanky. It can take almost anything. There we go. See, not even, not even affected. He's like, whatever. Goes for the Moonlight. Gonna restore his health. He's still on the field. He was, you know, he was a boss. He's a boss. Now I see the Superior has a Leftovers on the, on his side, and because he's got the Leech Seed, he's going to be connecting those Leech Seeds soon. As demonstrated right here, he's going to take all of Alu's health. It's going to be the end of my Mighty Yenna, so rest in peace my Mighty Yenna. I really wish it had more, more speed or attack power, one of those two. And the Toxic Damage is going to start taking its effect. Now out comes Cresselia. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up my Priscilla. I'm gonna go for some calm minds, and I'm also gonna try the psycho shift on my opponent. As Rain Dance comes out, I'm gonna be setting up for those really powerful water type attacks for the my low tech. And Cresselia now goes for the calm mind, and I'm okay. Okay, calm mind is up, and I think I know that my Cresselia was faster here. So I easily go for my Psych up here, gonna connect onto onto my Cresselia, gonna stale all those special defense stats. You know, it's not really meant for the special attack, use a physical attacker, so it does, it does it's, he's not really affected for, by the Calm Mind. It was more for the special defense boost as I'm staring down two special attackers. I needed all the help I could get to endure them. As Leech Seed connects onto you, he's gonna be losing so much health because of this. And Superior and to start racking up those toxic damage as Cresselia's Flame Orb activates. Now I'm thinking, okay, I'm able to survive at least one, maybe two Leaf Storms with Cresselia. As demonstrated right here before the boosts start to really kick in. Hydro Pump comes up, gonna connect onto Cresselia here. But as I said before, she's a tank, she's able to get that off. Critical hit really matters though, I'm not sure that really helped, could have helped my case. Cresselia. You know, she's really tanky, even as I go for the Psycho Shift, 
Starting to wish maybe I'd put Toxic Orb instead of Flame Orb because it's not going to help me at all against this Milotic. Okay, but in any case, I've got to deal with a Superior and a Milotic now. And I've still got you on the field with those Leech Seeds still connected to him. You really need to get rid of those Leech Seeds somehow. And Superior going to, you know, suck up even more health. But, as I said, he's toxic. He's toxic because of the Poison Fang. Uh, flame Orb gonna be dealing, or Flame gonna be stealing some damage. Cresselia now has the Flame Orb activate once again. Leaf Storm connects once again onto Cresselia. How come whenever I'm trying to use it, I barely survive on 5 HP? Pause that thought for a second. Hydro Pump comes out, gonna connect onto Cresselia as well. That's gonna be the end of my Moon Duck. That's gonna be the end of Cresselia. She put her all in as you goes for a faint attack gonna connect onto the Zerparia. Oh my goodness, as I was saying, how come whenever I try to use moves like Leap Storm and I hope it connects, it sometimes misses, but when I hope it misses, it always connects! Huh. As more Leech Seeds are being sapped from Zerparia, it's, it's, been, it's been able to survive all this time, but the poison is starting to rack up, even if it lasts one more turn, there is no way he's gonna be able to survive this turn despite the Leech Seed. So now out comes Dusk, my Absol. I'm thinking, okay, I'm down three to, t I'm down three to five, but at least I'm gonna even this up. I'm gonna even this up one way or another, so I go for the protect here, because I know he's gonna try and Giga Drain me, and I indeed predict the Giga Drain. Hydro Pump comes out, gonna connect onto you, but because of those calm mind or because of the calm mind setup, I was able to get some nice defenses off, and he's able to survive. Gonna go for a nice faint attack here, not gonna deal any damage to the Mylar attack. At this point, I'm just dealing chip damage to that Milo tech. And Yu's gonna recover some health. Then Leech Seed's gonna connect onto the Superior. But as I said, he's not able to survive any longer because of the poison. And poison is indeed gonna take down Superior at long last. Alright, now that we've all uh, finished the silence, Yavetal now comes back out onto the field. I'm thinking, okay, this actually helps me out. This actually can help me out. Because, you know, I've got some dark type Pokemon on the field, so they can have their attack boosted. Oh, woe is Impy. I go for my Mega Absol here thinking, okay, I can, I can make some kind of a comeback now. I'm back in the game. It's 3 to 4. I've come back from work. I go for the Throat Chop here onto the Meliotic. Almost get the KO onto the Milotic. Oh, I was so close to that KO. Yu's gonna absorb this Oblivion Wing like a boss once again. Hydro Pump connects onto you. I was so desperate to take out the Milotic. But you he took all he could. That was the end of it. And if he'd lasted one more turn, he probably could have gotten the Moonlight off and come back into this. But we trade Pokemon, his Milotic goes down, I lose my Umbreon. Now out comes the Mega Gengar once again, and out comes Nebby. So Nebby is back onto the field, back onto the team. It's been a while since Nebby's appeared, and you know, Nebby's gonna do Nebby things. Now Daniel's gonna go for a swap out here. Gonna swap his Mega, or his Yoveto, for Dusk Noir. Shiny Pokemon all around, jeez, all these shinies. And he's gonna see what I've got. He's gonna see my weakness policy. He knows what I'm going for. His Mega Gengar is faster. He goes for the Focus Blast. Gonna connect onto Dusk. And that is gonna be the end of Dusk, my Mega Absol. Rest in peace, my Mega Absol. She tried her best. Moon Blast comes out. I'm trying to do something here with Nebby. Not able to do any damage. I managed to get the special attack drop, but I don't even think Dusk War cares about its special attack. As it reveals its leftovers. Oh my goodness. Now, this is where the fun begins, at least for my opponent. I see what he's going for. He's trying to have some fun. He's trying to mess with me. He's just put to put Nebby to sleep. Nebby's gonna go to sleep now. He's just tried to have fun, and I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I could have just surrendered right then and there. There's no hope for me. I know there's nothing I can do. It's 4 or 3 v one Nebby's strong, but not that strong. He goes for the sludge wave. I'm trying to see what he's gonna do, and I'm like, end me already! Just end me! As Nebby is sleeping, wake up, Nebby! This is why I can't. This is why you should have stayed in the bag. And he's gonna go for an ice punch, Sub Zero ice punch. He's just messing with me. He 
he knows full well that I'm finished, but uh, he, he just wants to have his fun. So I let him have his fun. Shadow Sneak comes out, going to connect onto Nevi. Still not able to take out Nevi. But he's going to activate my weakness policy. So thank you very much for the weakness policy activation. And now finally Gengar fin finally puts me down. Yeah, I gave him his laugh. I gave him his chuckle. It's all right. There's no hard feeling. Nevi, not so much. Nevi, Nevi not, did not like that. So GG to Daniels. Oh my goodness, a string of losses. I had quite a few losses that Friday night throw down. I'll see you tacticians in the next video as I'm starting to lose my voice. But in any case, see you all next time. Bye bye. I'm taking in what I can get, but I can't find the answers yet. Head in the water, slow my mind. I hold my breath until I'm found.